Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the show, the PBS show, Victoria. So this is about um, Queen Victoria of England. And she was, up until um, the current queen, Queen Elizabeth II of England, she was the longest reigning monarch. <clears throat> and I think, well, um, Queen Elizabeth II um, has surpassed her. I don't know if it's been a full year yet, um, but she did pass her at some point. Um... But anyway, she was the longest reigning monarch. I think she had ten children, nine or ten children, um, and who all went into, you know, they became royals of Europe, basically, all over the place. <clears throat> and um, this show starts um, right as Queen Victoria became queen. And then, you know, it shows her struggles and everything. And I love this show. I love the show because it not only shows Queen Victoria and her struggles and everything, but it shows the stories of everybody around her, from her cooks and her servants to, you know, everybody, basically. Um, that was around at the time that was part of her court and I really do appreciate respect and love that um, <clears throat> She was an excellent monarch uh, I think that she did a really great job She gets a lot of flack because she put duties before her family which it's really hard to not do when you are over millions and millions and millions of people um but you know i don't know how to even comment on that because either you're really good at one or you're really good at the other very rarely are you good at both um because there's you know being a parent i mean i don't have any children of my own but um family friends obviously have children and I mean, that's a chore all on its own. I can't imagine having the fate of an entire nation or nations um, under your care. Um, that'd be way too much stress. <laughs> um, but I think that she tackled it quite well. Um, and she was really intelligent. I think that the people at the time really underestimated her. And I think that she did her best. And, um, yeah. Anyway, the show, the show really captures that. The show really captures, um, how she was treated at the time. It really captures how much influence she actually had in the political game. Um,. And I love the individual stories of the people around her. I think that I think that whoever created the show did an excellent job. The writers are amazing. Um, obviously, the acting is amazing. Um, the set pieces, oh my god, they're beautiful. So, I highly recommend the show for people who love historical dramas. Um, yeah. They, they went above and beyond to make an excellent show. So, check it out if you haven't. Um, it airs on the PBS Network. I haven't seen the third season yet. I'm really excited about that. And I've heard that a lot of really crazy stuff happens. Um, so, I'm, I'm ready to see that. But the first two seasons, I mean, it just keeps getting better and better, so that's a good sign. So, 
And I heard that Jenna Coleman said that this was her last year, or probably her last year, because, like, you can only cover so much during, I mean, her reign was so long that you can only cover so much with a young actress before you have to start showing historical events that have happened later in the Queen's life, so... Like they're doing with, um, with the Crown, they do the same actors for the for two seasons each. That way, it's not a far stretch to have people cover two decades. I mean, you know, but I'm, I really love that show too. Anyway, so if you haven't checked out Queen Victoria, check it out. Um, or Victoria, sorry. Um, airs on the PBS, and, um, it stars Jenna, Jenna Coleman. She actually played in the Doctor Who series, and, um, she really is doing an excellent job at playing Queen Victoria in the show Victoria. Um, I love all the characters. Um, some have really surprised me. Um, I don't really have much more to say about it because it, it really doesn't have so many major flaws or anything where you're just like, oh, like a lot of historical movies do. So, or shows and movies. Um, so, until next time, guys. Have a great day.